Well, 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 welcome back to more PS5 action, Champions League action, that is, at the Santiago Bernabeu tonight, second leg, Champions League, took a healthy 4-0 lead in the first leg, here we go, can we just see it out and get through to the final, that's all we want, and uh, Fabregas is going to be our captain tonight, we're changing the team and it feels very rude to do so. But we don't care too much because we got a cup final coming up in the next uh, episode against Chelsea. So, yeah, huge week this one for us today. We are changing the team up. We've done most of the work in the first leg, so we're putting a lot of faith in the team tonight just to get us through this and rest as many players as possible for that huge cup final in the next episode. So, yeah. Let's uh, let's do it. Yeah. Uh, so Fabregas obviously is going to be the captain. He's starting in the midfield today. Uh, this is Madrid's team. They got Bermuda Berbatov. Oh, Berbatov played for us, didn't he, back in season one and a bit of season two, didn't he? I almost forgot that. Kaiser DMF, um, Gambino Red Four Marrow um, in the midfield as well. Neri Sahin attacking midfield. We got uh, Torres and Exagi, the partnership up front tonight. Uh, the back four is Palmieri Chivu, Roberto Carlos Cafu, Marshall in goal. So yeah, a lot of high form arrows though, to be fair. So even though it is a completely changed team, um, I feel it is enough for us to get through. So let's go out there and um, let's do this. It's, uh, I don't know, it could be a crazy night. I, I feel like we, we don't need to worry too much. Uh, did the Madrid player just pass? Did, did, did Berbatov just pass? pass that back there that felt like it felt like that's what he did he's like he's got respect for his old club here still <laughs> or something uh, remember uh, uh, Michael Owen last season though oh that's kicked out by Marshall remember Michael Owen last season in the cup final um, who uh, who we, we 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 feel feel just maybe helped us out a little bit he's got feelings from his former team still we reckon anyway here's Torres Here's Fabregas. He's going to go out to Roberto Carlos. Roberto Carlos swings it in. Ooh. It's not going to pick anyone out. But it's decent. Here's Gambino. Here's... Oh, what a stop. I'm sorry, but we got to get a replay on that Nuri Sahin shot here. And that is a fantastic save, to be honest. A very quick reaction. Oh, that could have been 1-0 already. Here's Palmieri, by the way. <laughs> So, uh, yeah, we've gone with a bit of experience at the back, though, by putting Chivo in there, because we was like, you know what, probably going to need the guy. Possibly. I don't know. We might not need him at all, but you get the point. And here's Torres. And, oh, that was that was Gambino's shot, that one. Well, we played like a bunch of kids against We United, and uh, I said it, it feels a bit disrespectful to do so. Um, but you know what? It paid off, and they got some good experience. Tonight feels a little bit similar. I mean, in real life, you won't play a bunch of kids against Madrid. Or maybe you would. Maybe you just, you know, you're that crazy. You just think, ah, screw it, you know. And here is Nzagi with a shot there. And uh, it is saved pretty easily. Cafu keeps it in. You know, sometimes managers change things up, don't they? And they throw players on that the opposition don't really know much about to kind of maybe throw them off a little. It's kind of a maybe a good tactic, to be honest. Here's Roberto Carlos. He needs to pick someone out, which he doesn't. We're on the attack, which is good. So I'm enjoying this. Uh, Berbatov scored a few decent goals for us when he played for us back in, I think it was half a season one and like half a season two. I think it was like a, a full overall season if you want to call it that i mean season one's a lot shorter of a season so you maybe you don't want to call it that i don't know that's uh, manchester united playing milan in the other game tonight in europe we're hoping for a milan win <laughs> please probably won't happen but you know here's neri sahin oh goes for the shot and they just allowed him the space to run into there. I mean, why not go for it? It wasn't too far off. But, uh, you know, we've got, we got Chelsea coming up. So, I, you know, our priorities are kind of on that after getting so far ahead in the, in the first leg of this. So, you can understand with the team selection. It's so awkward. I hate having to play a Champions League followed by a cup final. 
it's just like it's just so awkward in my opinion and Inzaghi's taken that too far which is uh, totally fine we're uh, about half an hour in here and, uh, Torres is sliding in there for that one I keep thinking actually is it time for Torres to go I think Torres uh, probably be on his way out this uh, summer uh, in my opinion, I feel like, oh, you know what, the guy's had his time now. He's been with us since season three. You know, that's surely it. Oh, and he's just missed that. It wasn't... You know what, Madrid are giving us a lot of space here, I feel. You know what I mean? Like, it just feels like we're getting a lot of space. We should be probably one up by now. And that's booted clear. And can Inzaghi really do much on his own here? It's going to be threaded through. He's not going to give it up. It's still in play. Here's Cafu. Picks out Fabregas. Picks out Torres. Who gets the shot away. This should be 1-0. Madrid not really trying much here. They're just sitting back too much. Maybe they're putting too many men forward. Because, you know, that, that earlier chance, the one before, that it felt like there wasn't enough players back for Madrid there. Raul is on now for them. To try and uh, change things up. Feels like they're giving away the ball a little bit too much. And that could easily be taken back. Which it is now. Here's Torres. Here's Nuri Sahin. Here's Inzaghi. Inzaghi's got a little bit of space to work with. But they've had to bring him down. Well they didn't have to. But you get the point. And, oh, that could have been worked better, honestly. Here is Torres, though. And Fabregas. Fabregas hasn't got a lot to work with here himself. And it's Roberto Carlos. Oh, it just feels like, can Liverpool do something here? Can they just open Madrid up and get that goal? Here's Berbatov. And, oh, I thought Marshall was honestly going to miss that there and allow Bamo go in. It is on offside anywhere, so it wouldn't have mattered anywhere. But, uh, yeah, we've got one Marshall in goal. It was either, well, I mean, Czech is on a red form arrow, but um, his stamina is not very good. Well, it's it's a little low. It's not the worst, but he's got a little fatigue as well. So it was... Um, a case of do we put Oscar Cordoba in there but we want to keep him fresh for the cup final if needs be so we're just like okay you know what Marshall's just going to play this one um, so yeah and here is Bamogo and it's going to go out for a Madrid corner it's probably one of the first attacks they've actually had of the game so far and we're at the end of this first half here and uh, just you know when you feel like there's a good attack on and then it, the referee blows the whistle it's just like oh come on man I think it was a good first half. Maybe we aren't taking it that seriously, but we're doing okay. Let's uh, let's try again the second half. Well, unfortunately, we can't tell you what's happening in the uh, other match tonight because it doesn't allow us to see it. So, yeah, anything could be happening in Man U versus uh, Milan. Um, but, yeah, to be honest, I feel like I, I want Milan... That's not to say it'll be any easier than playing against Man U. You never know. Milan could give us a really hard game. But um, I f sort of feel like Man U would be a fitting end to the season. I think I said it in a previous episode just because... Oh my gosh. Are you serious? Well, I wasn't expecting that to happen. That's another injury for Inzaghi. Uh, he was injured just before the halfway point of the season, wasn't he? Is he prone to injuries? Is that something I've overlooked? Because that's two mild injuries he's picked up now, which is not good. And it didn't look anything serious, so it's a little bit concerning. It's a shame because he's a good player, and Madrid have taken the lead. No, it's offside. I heard the whistle go there. It would have been a good goal, that, to be fair. So Rooney's come on for his re replacement now. Uh, we don't really want to play Rooney because, uh, again, he's another one that's um, sort of 
Oh, this is probably a goal. Yes, it is a goal for Madrid. It's Raul who's got it. Was it like a chip, that? It looked to be. He's 38 now, still not retired. Um, but yeah, I was saying like Manchester United would be a fitting end because it's just been us v Man U all season, pretty much. They beat us earlier in the season. We beat them chasing the title, etc. But, uh, yeah, we let this go here. Palmieri... Uh, well, I mean, Palmieri did get in front of the ball there, to be fair. And this, Marshall just... What is that dive by Marshall? What is this? Look at the... What is that? Uh, like... You just... Uh... Like, dude, you were already beaten. You did not need to dive at that point. Just let the ball go over your head, accept defeat on it. <laughs> you know what I mean? And uh, we've got a corner out of it here. Roberto Carlos is going to take it. And Rooney's trying to get his head in there. No, yeah, we didn't, we didn't want to play Rooney because, uh, well... And uh, Fabregas trying to line up a shot there because uh, his stamina was a little low, not completely. So we went with Nuri Sahin instead. And Rooney! Oh, just misses the target. Is that Cafu there? He would have provided the assist on that one. One behind, I mean, it's not it's not a big deal. We're still 4-1 up on aggregate. We still want to try and win the game still, but it's not a big, big deal. Oh, Torres. Torres. Trying to put it across the face of goal. So we want we want to keep we've gone with Rooney because we want to keep things fresh. We we don't want to risk Mutu, Babel, Ronaldo, etc. And oh, that's great stuff. Torres with the equalising goal on the night, of course, but it is five one overall. And that is an away goal on top of that. Um, so even if Madrid were to win 5-1 on the night now they don't have any away goals for support and uh, Gambino gets the assist on that. that that's just what it feels like we've been trying for all night and we've just been getting a bit unlucky Torres all the space here look at this gone through all it's gone through about three Madrid players there and ends up in and uh, that should be the goal that just puts the cherry on the cake in this uh, semi-final tie and here's Bamogo who's uh, who scored against us in the uh, in the past he was almost onside there yeah Palmieri's uh, yeah, he's doing alright so far tonight I feel he did what he could on the goal to be honest you know what he tried he was just unfortunate with it and uh, that ball did not work out there or Roberto Carlos really should have kept running for the ball there, actually. And couldn't find Rooney there. I thought it was Torres for a second, but it's Rooney. To be honest, looking at the subs bench, and there's nobody we really want to use just because of fear of injury. There's Gambino. And uh, that could have ended up pretty awkward. Oh, Fabregas. He's actually coming off Fabregas now for De Jong. Um, he's going to take the armband. Uh, Zidane is on for uh, Madrid. Uh, Kaiser lining up the shot there. Here's Bamogo. Here's Berbatov. So we've put uh, Gambino as a central midfielder. We haven't 
switched him onto like a right-sided midfielder, which uh, which we should do. And Nuri Sahin goes for the effort. And uh, couldn't find a finish. Did he have time to maybe do something else there? Not sure. Here's Torres. Torres! Here's Rooney. It's Rooney. Oh! Dijon with another goal for us. Isn't that like his sixth now? Just waiting in the box, nobody picking him up. Just simple kind of passing, you might say. I don't know. It worked out though. It's just look at that. He's not, you know, it's an open net there. What are Madrid doing here? I think they've given up at this point. They're all over the place. Look at this, Dijon. Nothing. Nobody around. This is uh, going to be a win at the Bernabeu at this rate now. You know, I think uh, Cafu was helping out as well in that situation. And it says Torres. It's Dijon. Ooh, free kick. We're actually going to bring Marshall off and bring Czech on for the last um, few minutes. Again, just for goalkeeper stamina purposes. Yet again, we've done it a few times just recently. But, um, we don't really want to risk it too much, if you get what I mean. Oh, headed clear. Fair enough. Nuri Sahin goes for it again. Yeah, needed more power and a bit more accuracy. Fair enough. Here into stoppage time now. Dijon, man, we got we got to keep this guy. I think for another few years now. <laughs> like he's been so good. And that's it. Game over here tonight. Um, we went behind. We came back. What more can I say? You know what? It was only a two-one win, but I don't care. Uh, it it's it's a win. Madrid didn't put too much effort in. In my opinion, anyway. The man of the match was Torres, though, tonight with a 7.5. He got uh, gold, didn't he? Um, yeah, I think he was good. Uh, yeah, probably the man of the match. I mean, if I had to pick anyone, it'd probably be him. I mean, I mean, Dijon came on and, and it was really good, to be fair. But yeah, I mean, Torres played the whole thing and he was trying, he was creating space, having shots, etc. In fact, let's say how many shots he had. Uh, four, two of which on target. Okay, I mean, fair enough. Neri Sahin, yeah, was trying. Fabregas, I thought Fabregas was pretty good. Gambino was actually really good. Maybe he's a good candidate for the man of the match, I don't know. Palmieri, seven there. Palmieri, he, he let that... Like, he did get a touch on the ball, but he was unfortunate and Madrid got in and scored. So, I can't blame him too much for that. You know, maybe better positioning would have been a bit better, you might say. But, yeah, overall, very good. So, uh, Inzaghi's got a week out, unfortunately. Not a big deal, because it's a cup final week, and we're not really planning on really playing him anywhere. And even if we need to play somebody, we've got Arolano there anywhere. So... Hopefully a uh, very speedy and good recovery then. Just before we get into who we're playing in the final though, this is what happened in the UEFA Cup. So um, before, um, I think I went over some of the semi-finals, didn't I? Uh, Valencia and uh, Chelsea was 1-1. Valencia won on aggregate though in the end, so well done to them. Chelsea are now out. Uh, Villarreal won 2-0 on both occasions there against Lyon, so they are through to the final. So an all-Spanish affair there with Valencia v Villarreal in the UEFA Cup final but for us it's Manchester United of course it is of course it is they drew 1-1 in the second leg but won 3-1 overall so yes Manchester United v Liverpool Champions League final yet again I think this is the third time we've played them in the Champions League final now <laughs> 
so can we do it again? We'll find out a little bit later down the line. And just before we get into what is happening with us in the next episode, this is what's happening elsewhere. So uh, it's basically cut final week. Um, and uh, Valen uh, Villarreal, who have also... Was it... They just... Is that who I said? Yeah, they've made it to UEFA Cup final. Um, oops, I backed out a little too far there. Um, they've also made it to uh, the Spanish Cup final against Madrid. So, yeah, cool stuff. Go Villarreal and, and whatnot. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, Serie A Cup final is Juventus versus Parma. Parma done very well there. They've knocked out Roma. Uh, they knocked out Lazio and Regina. So, not bad there. What have Juventus done? They've knocked out Palermo. Uh, in, in Inter Milan. In fact, what of uh, Villarreal? They've knocked out Atletico. They've had to knock out Valencia. They're playing them in the cup final, so Valencia want a bit of revenge there. Um, Real Madrid have beaten Osasuna. They've beaten Real Zaragoza, and they've beaten Barcelona. So yeah, uh, did I go through? Yeah, I went through this. And League Four finally is going to be Benfica versus Fenerbahce. Uh, Fenerbahce have beaten Andelect, then they beat PSV, and then they had to beat Lyon to reach the final. Whereas Benfica have had to beat uh, by Munich, then they've had to beat Olympiacos and Galatasaray to make that final. So yeah, but for us, it is going to be Chelsea Cup final time for us. Uh, Chelsea's road to the final includes beating Rangers, beating Newcastle after extra time, beating Arsenal 5-2 overall. For us, we've had to go through Everton, where we only scored the one goal in round one, and that was it. <laughs> um, we've had to beat Spares, we won eight overall. 4-0 each time, then we've had to beat We United with 9-1 overall, now Chelsea, oh my gosh, join us for that one next time guys, please comment, subscribe and share as always if you want to, and uh, yeah, we've done the job against Madrid tonight, we're going to a Champions League final yet again, but we've got to get through Chelsea first, and who knows what is going to happen, see you at Wembley next time, take care.